Hiya, this is a short video tutorial to help you get started with the piece called Horse-Drawn Carriage. Um, it's from this book here, Piano Adventures by Nancy and Randall Faber, Lesson and Theory All in Two Edition Book Level 2B. And we're on page 44. Okay, so the first part of this video is where I'm going to play this piece for you all the way through as it should be played. Um, then what I'll do is I'll break it down into sections for you, hand separately. And then the last part of this video is where I'm going to play the teacher duet part, which is uh, printed along the bottom of both of the pages, uh, so that when you're ready you can try playing it along with me as though we were playing it as a duet. Um, just bear in mind that there are repeat marks in this piece. Um, let me just point them out to you. Um, so I will be doing them when I'm playing it to you. So just here at the end of um, bar eight on page two, see these two little dots? That means it repeats, which means I'm going to be going all the way back to the beginning and then playing all of this bit through a second time before moving on to this section. At the end of this section here, there are some more repeat marks here. So this bit means that I will go back to here and then repeat it. And then the second time I play it, I'm going to miss out this. This is the first time bar. Um, so I'm going to miss that out the second time and jump straight to the end, the second time bar. So that's just to clarify the repeat marks. Okie dokie, here we go. This is what it sounds like all the way through. Sorry about the tiny little mistake there in bar nine. Um, right, not to worry. Let's have a go breaking this down into small sections and hand separately. So why don't we do the right hand first? The right hand starts on the B above middle C with your third finger. So the, for the purposes of this video, this is my middle C here. So we're gonna be starting here on this B. So you need to put your third finger on it, as I said. Um, and then for the rest of bar one, uh, the notes are D, C, B, A. So you're keeping your hand in the same hand position uh, for bar one, but bear in mind that in bar two that there is gonna be a finger position change. So this is what bar one sounds like. Okay, remembering to hold that B on for two beats because it's a minim, so I'll do that again. One, two. Okay, um, bar two is basically a G major scale. So the first three notes are G, A, B. Then what I need you to do is tuck your thumb under so that it reaches the C like this. Okay, um, that way uh, you're changing your hand position so that you can reach the rest of the notes in this bar, which are D, E, F sharp and G. Okay, so if I were you, I would probably practice bar two really slowly so that you get the hang of that finger position change. Have a look again. So one, two, three, thumb under, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, bar three then, going on to the second line, four notes. We've got F sharp with the fourth finger, then E, then D, then C. Then in bar four, that third finger is going to cross over the thumb so that you can reach the B. And the notes in bar four are B, A, B, G, A. Okay, moving on to bar five. Bar five is exactly the same as bar one, which is great news. We like it when that happens. And then bar six, I'm having a look as well. And bar six is exactly the same as bar two. So that's good. Um, there's some repetition here. So bar seven is exactly the same as bar three. So how about we go straight on to um, bar eight? Okay, actually you're already in the correct position. So bar eight, there are only four notes in it, whereas um, the equivalent bar in bar four, there are five notes and it is slightly different. So this is why we're just jumping straight to bar eight. So the notes are B with your third finger, then C, A, and thumb on G. So bar eight will sound like this. Okay, going on 
on to bar nine then. So bar nine has got three notes in it, two C's and a B. And hold that B on for two beats, so like this. One, two. Then in bar 10, we've got the same rhythm, but different notes, two A's and a D. One, two, holding that D on for two beats. Bar 11, starts with two C's with the fourth finger. Then the next four notes in bar 11 are B, D, C, B. Okay, then the first time bar, um, so bar 12, goes like this, two A's and a G, and then A, B. Okay, so that's the first time bar. Um, if I show you the second time bar now, so this is the absolute final bar of the whole piece, three notes in it, A, D, G for two beats. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to help you with the right hand. Let's talk about the left hand now. So the left hand in this piece is a combination of chords and singular notes. So the first um, thing you need to do is put your hand into the correct position uh, to start with. So your left thumb is going to be on the C above middle C. So just a reminder, this is my middle C here on this piano. And your thumb is going to be on the D right next door your third finger on the B and your little finger on the G. So that chord is like this. And you'll hold it for two beats. One, two. The second chord in bar one, you're going to keep your thumb on that D, but the other two notes are C and F sharp with your little finger. So it's going to go like this. So my advice would be just to keep practicing going from the first chord to the second chord and just carry on repeating until you get used to that finger change, because that's that's quite um, complex, actually. Um, going on to bar two, you actually start with your original chord, but you just play it for one beat, so one second. Bar three is a D all by itself with the thumb for four beats. One, two, three, four. Then in bar four, you've got just two notes, C and D, like that. Um, bar five and bar six and bar seven is exactly the same as the first three bars of the piece. Okay, I'm going to play them to you anyway so that you can hear what they sound like played up to speed. Uh, so this is bar five, six and seven of the left hand. One, two, one, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then bar eight, um, it finishes with those same two chords again, the second one and then the first one. Like that. So it is quite handy. It does make sense to practice switching between those two chords as um, like a manageable section, if you like, that you repeat. Going on to the third line of page two. This is now bar nine. So you've got A and D repeated twice. Like that. And then you've got G and D. And then you have the same rhythm again. So I'll just play bar nine again to just reiterate that rhythm. Then bar 10, again, same rhythm, but slightly different notes. C, D, repeated, then B and D, like this. Okay, bar 11 goes like this. A, D, A, D, then G for two beats. One, two. Now bar 12 and 13, um, although one is the first time bar and one's the second time bar, they are both identical, which is great. So the first um, chord, is the F sharp C and D one. And then the second chord is your original chord that you started with, G, B and D. Okay, so that's the left hand. Um, I'm now gonna play the duet part for you, okay? So when we play it as a duet, what we need to do is make sure that we start and end at the same time. We play at the same speed, so it's going to be important to tap your foot or nod your head to help you keep in time. Um, and the last thing, particularly with this piece, is that we both do the repeats. OK, so I'm going to be doing the repeats. So if you can just um, double check where those repeat signs are, they're at the end of bar eight and then at the end of bar 12. Um, and then, well, if you get your hands into position, we can we can go for it. OK, so take a moment, get your hands into their position. I'm going to get myself ready. This is the speed that I'm going to go. One, two, three, four. So if you can try tapping your foot along with the, my finger click now, that will help you get ready. Okay, so after four, here we go. One, two, three, four.
how did you get on? Did you finish at the same time? Um, well done. Don't forget, you can adjust the playback speed of this video to suit you. Um, and also, obviously, you can rewind it, pause it, fast forward it as well. Um, let me know how you get on with this. Take care. See you soon. Bye.